what's up? It's John, aka Operation Android, and ever since I released my PPSSPP tutorial for iOS 13, the comment that I received the most on that video is, how do you make PPSSPP full screen, or how do you get rid of the black bars? I can't tell you how many comments I got about that. And luckily, there's now a way to do that. PPSSPP was recently updated, and in this update, it is now full screen for iPhone 10, 10s and 11 devices so if you have one of those devices and you want to use PPSSPP full screen not only in the menu but also while you're playing games I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in this video without losing any of your games or saves while updating to this new PPSSPP so without wasting any more time let's head into the tutorial Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your old PPSSPP to the new full screen version. If you don't already have PPSSPP and you're downloading it for the first time, I'll have a link in the description below that'll show you how to download it. Anyways, to begin, the first thing you want to do is open the files application, click on on my iPhone, then open the PPSSPP folder. From here, you want to hit select at the top right and click on the PSP and the games folder. Then hit the little folder icon at the bottom and move the two folders to anywhere on my iPhone under that section to any folder. It doesn't matter which one it is. I'm going to move it to unzip as long as it's not the PPSSPP folder. So now we can delete PPSSPP without deleting our games or our saves, which is really awesome. So now that we have it deleted, let's head into Safari to download the new version of PPSSPP available on operationidroid.com forward slash app market. I'll have that linked in the description below as well. From here, you can click on PPSSPP and to install the application, all you have to do is click on the get button and then hit install. Now, if you're trying to sideload PPSSPP, I have the IPA link available down low under the information and then you could use that to install with the Alt Store or Cydia Impactor. Now, once you have PPSSPP, obviously you'll need to trust it, so go ahead and head into your settings, click on General, scroll down to Device Management, and then click on the certificate for PPSSPP and trust it. Now that we've done that, let's open PPSSPP one time so that the folder appears in the files application. And as you can see, it's full screen, which is an awesome sight to see if you've been on the old version. And now let's head back home and open the files application and click on on my iPhone. And now you'll see the PPSSPP folder and you want to head into the folder where you put the PSP and games folder. Hit select and click both of them and now move them back into the PPSSPP folder. So now when we go to the PPSSPP folder, you'll have a games, PSP and PSP2 folder. Delete the PSP folder and then tap and hold on the PSP2 folder to rename it to simply PSP. So now that we've done that, open your multitasking bar and remove PPSSPP from the multitasking bar. And now we can open the new version of PPSSPP that's full screen that will have all of your games available in the little games tab there and all of your settings will be the same as well. Make sure to go to the tools and developer tools and make sure that the CPU core is set to IR interpreter so your games don't crash. And now you can go ahead and enjoy your games in full screen. Now you'll see that it actually is in full screen when you play your games and that's because the games stay correct to their aspect ratio. If you want to stretch the games, you can do that by going into the settings and then from the graphics tab, scrolling down to, I believe it is called the display layout editor and then click on options and change that to stretching, which will stretch your game out to fill all the room in your um, PPSSPP or your phone's screen. So now when I click continue, you can see it now covers the complete screen. It is stretched, but it's not stretched by a lot. So it isn't that big of a difference however i still prefer to play without stretching it but that's completely up to you i can see this being very cool when you're playing with a ps4 or xbox controller because the controls won't be on the screen and you'll be able to see your whole screen filled up with your psp game so if you're not playing with a ps4 or xbox controller and you have one of those i have a video linked in the description so you can learn how to do that 
And there you go. Now you have the latest version of PPSS PP that is full screen on the newest iPhone devices, as well as hopefully you still have all your games and saves if you followed everything that I did properly. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I really appreciate it. As well as let me know if you need help with anything in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Finally, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend that you subscribe. Click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video because I upload awesome tutorials like this one every week. And until then, I guess I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.